What is going on guys? Welcome back to Motor Mouse Garage. Some quick housekeeping right up front. So until the end of this year, 2023, um, I'm going to be running a giveaway. Uh, if you've watched my thousand subscriber video, you know this already, but make sure you're entered at the uh, link in the description below. Um, all you got to do, subscribe to the channel and fill out that Google form. Uh, include your email address, contact info, and stuff like that. And then, yeah, you'll be good to go and you'll be entered. And then we'll be drawing probably sometime in January. Um, so plenty of time to get in uh, if you're watching this in 2023. If you're not, sorry, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. All right. Just wanted to uh, pitch that to you guys. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Motor Mouse Garage. So today, what I'm going to be doing is a little something different. So this company reached out to me named Oxito. Interesting name. Uh, and they offered to send me some interior lights uh, for the Land Cruiser in exchange for a review. So how I plan on handling anything that comes up like this, including right now, is I'm going to film this installation of these Oxito um, LEDs for the interior lights. So it replaces your two dome lights, the one in the back in the cargo area, and then the one right in the middle for when you open the door. Right. So what I plan on doing is I'm going to install these. I'm going to film myself installing them, more or less. Um, and I'm going to wait to release this video until I've got, I don't know, maybe a month or two uh, of use on them. So the reason why I want to do that is because I'm not here to shill a shitty product. I don't know if it's a shitty product, excuse me uh, for my language. I'm not here to sell a, an inferior product to you guys. Um, I think there's enough of that going on in the YouTube world. I think there's enough of that going on in the Instagram world. So I am not going to release this video uh, as a good review until uh, I know that they're good. So. I'm going to install today. So today's date is Tuesday, November 7th, uh, 2023. You can see on my watch right here, it's the 7th. You're just going to take my word for it that it's in November. Um, actually, I can show you right here. I don't know if y'all could see November 7th, 2023. Uh, I'm going to leave them in there for a little while. Uh, so initial impressions, you know, the, their marketing team or email team, whoever reached out to me was very nice. Um, although I did ask for uh, replacement LEDs for all the door lights. Uh, I did not receive those. I just got the dome lights ones, which that's fine. Uh, I'm not really that concerned about it. Uh, if they're good, I will buy them myself and I will put them in at that time. So uh, what is kind of cool is they give you like a little trim tool at the bottom. So that's a the huge plus for it. Um, that way you don't need your own trim tool and you can install them. Because you have to like leverage off the light covers, which I'll show you. I've already done, but I'll show you what I mean. So these little covers need to come off of here. Right? So this light still works. And then I have... I put a flag up here uh, from Tales to the Grid Square or Tales of the Grid Square. Um, it's just like a. Just look them up. Look them up on Instagram. Uh, you'll see. But anyway, let's install these and yeah, we'll keep this video short. And if it's good, um, I'll let you know. And you can. They even gave me an affiliate link. Uh, I'll post it. If it's good, if it's not, I'm not going to post it in the description because I'm not going to try to sell you guys a product. Uh, it'll give you 15% off and it gives me a 10% cut, which if they are good, will support what I'm doing. If they're not, then this part will be cut out of the video and you will just get an actual review of how shitty they are. But if they're not, by chance, we'll see. So let's go install these. Okay, so obviously... These are directional, they're not 360. Uh, also, it's a diode, so it's directional. So you might have to play around with what side goes where, but 
as far as install goes, it's pretty simple. Uh, you're just going to push this little tab back and remove this old light bulb. Boop. Just like that. And then the new one is going to go LED side down and it's going to fit in here. So you can adjust these, uh, these little tabs. So these little springs, you can basically compress them and they'll fit in which it's going to be a very tight fit if it fits at all. Sure. All right, you get the idea, but give me a second. Let me try to fit this in here. Here's our original bulb, right? And there's a little like, I don't know if you guys can see this, it's like a little ledge on the old one, right? And the reason for that is the way these bulbs are held in, they're basically sandwiched in between these two plates, right? So this is free space in between here and it literally sits in there like so inside of those grooves. So it sits very nicely in there, turns on and we're good to go, right? Now, Take this back out for an example. Okay. Now we've got the Oxito, right? So you'll notice these are literally just springs on the end, right? And they have no protruding nipple like these guys have. So the problem you run into is there's nothing to hold this in place on Land Cruiser. So I'm not saying they might not work for other vehicles, but for the Land Cruiser, these are not going to work. And judging that my channel uh, is mostly about Land Cruiser stuff, you'd think um, as a customer service rep, you'd be like, hey, uh, let's make sure these actually fit before we send this guy some lights to review, right? So not only that, these are adjustable size, quote unquote, but you can see how much larger the LED is compared to the normal bulb, right? So it's not even close to the same size. So it couldn't even just like rest in there momentarily. Uh, so yeah, I fought with it, honestly, I fought with it for about a minute and then I was like, mm, I really don't like this. So there's some things that I think you could probably do. Um, you could probably bend that little tab on the spring out to kind of act the same way as they do the incandescent bulbs. Um, and maybe that'll work. I don't know. I might try it. Uh, we need to make them shorter first off cause they're way too long and they're not a direct replacement. So you're going to have to do a little bit of, of, of work to get it in there, which if you're okay with, that's fine. Uh, but you know, if you're just looking for a, a swappable option, this ain't the one. So I have a lot of experience with super bright LEDs. Uh, that's what all the exterior lights are for this vehicle. Um, so I might check out super bright LEDs uh, and see if they have something that resembles this really funky looking bulb. Um, Cause as it stands, this is, you can even see here, like significantly bigger, the Oxito, right? So, yeah, you can kind of compress it down, but it's still bigger than the original bulb. And, you know, with it, if I were to shove this in here, like so, there's just nothing to hold on to this bulb. You know what I mean? Like, I can do this, and I can shove that in there, but as soon as I try to get it in its rightful place, it just springs back out of me because springs holding this thing in. Okay. So that's as close as I got it, and hopefully I have it in the right orientation. And I do. Okay. Uh, that might be my switch, to be fair. All right, so we're in here, All right? Okay, well, it's on the door setting right now. Where is it? Oh, door, on, 
Okay, so it is slightly brighter. We're gonna try to go with that. We're gonna try to run with it and we're gonna see. Let's put this diffuse panel back on right quick. All right, there we go. So they do fit. I am curious to see how long they actually stay in there. Um, I didn't, so that one, I don't know. It just slid right in, right on camera, of course. Uh, so let's, let, give me some time with this. Give me some time and we'll see. Um, I personally think that it's gonna find its way out of its little spring perch uh, after some off-roading, but we're gonna find out. So let me put the back one in that I have back here uh, underneath my flag, and then we'll kind of go from there and see what happens. Um, not super impressed. I think it could be done better. Uh, like I said, maybe it'll work in some other vehicle uh, where it uses like just normal clips, kind of like the front light for the, the 80 series. Um, but I'll, I'll give it its due diligence. Okay, got number two in. So that one I didn't modify at all. Same process as the front one. Okay, so maybe, maybe I judged it a little too harshly in the beginning, okay? So this back one uh, only opens when the hatch is open, right? So maybe I judged it a little too quickly. They are a pain in the ass to get in there. So I fought that back one for a little while, but so far so good. All right, minus install. Install sucks. Uh, note number one, Oxito, if you're listening to this and viewers, if you wanna buy these. Uh, they're like 26 bucks, I think, for the pack of six. Um, they're pretty, they're pretty white. Um, I'm gonna wait till it gets dark, and then I'll film uh, what they look like. But I will admit, they look pretty okay. I don't have a back cover for that one, uh, so it's just gonna be covered with this flag eventually when I put it back. But I kind of like that cool white color. Um, I will need to get some for the front if, if I plan on buying more. We've got a couple wheeling trips to go to uh, to finish out the year. And then, of course, uh, just daily road usage, right? So, okay, I'm gonna put this flag up off video because I'm about to run out of battery. So. Let me drive with these in here for a few days and I'll get back to you. So uh, right off the bat, positive, it's LED, so it doesn't uh, draw as much amperage from the battery if you wanna leave them on for whatever reason with the car off. So it's a plus, right? Uh, they do improve the color. They're, it's less dingy in here, noticeably. Um, I would like to see their front ones uh, for the front version, and I would like to replace all the ones in the door, but let me make sure these are good. And if they are, I will buy them myself, and I can officially sell them to you guys. But they, they are annoying to fit. I'm not gonna lie to you. They're, they're kind of a pain in the ass. But you can balance them in there. Uh, as long as they stay there, and as long as they don't, you know, lose a pixel or something like that or lose a, an LED, I think we're, I think we're gonna be in business. I think this might be good. Um, I'll get back to you guys though. I, I know you guys trust me to put out good information and I plan on doing that, so let me test them. All right, so be back in a couple seconds. Okay, I know this probably isn't a good depiction of what these lights can do, but the 80 series turns out doesn't have a lot of lights that uh, turn on when the vehicle turns on, but this is essentially what the light looks like. Uh, please excuse my jackets back here. Um, so the back one only opens when the hatch is open and that one has fallen out and I have not put it back because it's kind of annoying for me to do. But this one is held up pretty cool. I think the only weird thing that I've seen happen, which might just be the 80 series, is when I turn the vehicle on, it flickers. So that's the only real negative. It does brighten it up uh, more than the 
original one. Um, but yeah, so this is generally what it looks like. I'll show you from the back seat. So it does increase the light a tiny little bit, but of course, the 80 series is not the best at lighting. So I think getting door ones would help out quite a bit, um, which I might actually do. But so let's get on to the slightly long-term review. All right, so conclusions on our Oxito LEDs. So the date today is December 6th, 2023. So I haven't had a ton of time with them. Had about, I think like a month, month and a half, maybe two months. Um, here are my overall thoughts. I do think it is an upgrade from stock. I will say that. Um, it's not a perfect fit. It's definitely like a general universal fit. So, you know, that's kind of like a con on my side. The pros, obviously, it does make it slightly brighter. It's not like too much to where it looks like crazy. Um, and also, it is not too dim to where it's basically the same thing as having a stock one, right? Um, I say the, the fatal flaw with these, uh, which I think was pushed as kind of like a feature, is that they're multi-fit like that. So at least for the 80 series, doesn't really work out. Uh, and because I'm trying to find the original bulbs that I have around here somewhere. Um, but as I explained in the, the first part of the video when I installed them, here we go. Uh, you can see, hopefully, the original bulbs have like a little tab on them that holds them in the 80 series. Uh, and the Oxitos do not have that. They're just springs, right? So, and they're also a little bit longer and those springs have to be compressed. So I was thinking, you know, maybe I could like solder like a little piece onto there. But I mean, honestly, dude, for, for LEDs, I don't think uh, that should be a required step, right? That I'm going above and beyond for that. So the product as it stands, um, if I were going to rate it out of, out of a five, I'd probably give it a three out of five. Um, mostly due to fitment. Um, I'm not too thrilled with, so here's the thing is like the 80 series doesn't have a lot of interior lights, uh, that, turn on when the door comes on. So the front one, the map light doesn't come on. It's literally just the dome light in the back. So I think having a brighter version of these would be more beneficial because uh, it only has one. Or maybe if I replace the ones in the door, um, that would be a little bit better. So I might actually do that. I might actually buy some ones for my door and put it in. Cause I mean, they're a reasonable price. They're not expensive. I think these are for six of them. I think they're maybe 20 bucks, maybe a little bit under. And if you really want them, um, I'm actually going to put a discount code in my description here. Um, that way, if you do want to try them out, I can save you a little bit of money. Um, full disclosure, they do offer me a certain percentage. I think it's like 10% or something like that. Um, so not crazy, but if you wanted to try them out, uh, I think it's like a 15% discount. Feel free. If not, you know, purchase from somewhere else. Totally fine with that. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on the LEDs as a whole. Not bad, but not great. You know, um, I think having more sizes available and actually having them specifically fit with the vehicle would be a better choice. Like I, I just don't understand why they can't make LEDs like this size. This is from my understanding, this is a pretty common size. Um, so yeah, I don't understand why they don't just make it. Specifically, maybe it's manufacturing costs. I don't know. I don't know, man. Um, but yeah, I would give them a solid three out of five. Uh, so like I said in in the uh, display of like the brightness of it, the my back one fell out. But I'll chalk that one up to me because I really didn't try too hard to get that in there. Um, however, the one I do have in the, the general map, like the center light, uh, I actually stayed there, so didn't have any problems with that one. Uh, didn't fly off or anything like that. 
Uh, but yeah, dude, I mean, it's an LED, you know, <laughs> I mean, there's not really, uh, not really that much of a review for an LED, but you know, if, if you're looking for, for something relatively cheap that does a job, I, I'd say that's, it's pretty solid. Um, if you're looking for something very specific or a certain level of brightness or a certain level of quality and fitment, perhaps go somewhere else, you know? Um, but you know, the, the rep that contacted me, very understanding. Uh, he asked if I can get this review out before Christmas time. So I will oblige. Um, but as of right now, they seem solid and I'm going to leave them in there as long as I can, uh, until they die, if they die. So yeah. Um, three out of five, three out of five would recommend Oxito LEDs. Um, I, I can't speak for the other products. I can only speak for their interior lights that they sent me. Um, but I would be willing to look at other lighting options in the future. So pretty much all of my exterior lights are already LED. So I got them from uh, super bright LEDs. Um, but it was kind of work to like track down uh, exactly which bulbs I needed. But that was work I'm willing to do. Uh, I understand most people aren't. This one is, I think their website's pretty nice where you have to enter like your vehicle um, information and they'll give you like what they think fits, which, you know, may, might not always be the case with these universal fitment bulbs, right? So just keep that in mind, little PSA. But that is going to do it for this video. Um, like I said, if you guys want to purchase these, I have an affiliate link in the bottom, save you some money. Uh, it'll shoot me some money to help support the channel at the very least. Uh, 